Hey guys, welcome back to Coin Knowledge. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, some tips, you know, how to kind of survive the bear market and how to find, you know, some really innovative projects that could give major returns in the next bull market. And we're actually going to be going over to Twitter to be taking a look at this. And the thread that we're going to be looking at is one that popped up in my timeline from someone I follow, Lady of Crypto. And she has a YouTube channel as well, which I'll link. Uh, this Twitter thread and her YouTube channel in, in the description below because she makes really good quality content and she has a lot of useful uh, kind of just statements and tips and tools and just research tips like the thread we're going over today on her Twitter and it's very beneficial I think to to follow her uh, she knows what she's doing but uh, either way we'll go over this thread a little bit just because I when I saw it it was way too good not to bring a little bit more light to it um so you know yesterday she had put out saying ask these 30 powerful questions when researching a crypto to easily spot 50 to 100x gems and we'll kind of just go through it and some of the stuff we've brought up on the channel uh some of it's common sense but some of it's really is really really good key points all of it is really uh but you know again we're just going to go through this step by step and i'll link all this below so you if you like you know anything that you're reading here, you can go follow Lady of Crypto and uh, yeah, tell her I sent you. And if we're looking at it, so you know again, these questions are broken into the step-by-step -step categories that she looks at. And in this scenario, she's just looking at you know Axie Infinity and Solana just for a comparison, just here. And again, so your primary tools for answering the questions below will be the project's white paper, site, socials, LinkedIn, and Google. Again, a lot of those tools we use whenever we do, you know, coverage of projects on this channel. Uh, you know, so starting with the team, you know, do they have crypto experience? Do they hire? You know, that's hiring indicates growth, especially right now in the bear market. Are they fully doxxed? Are the devs building? Uh, you know, she says use Artemis XYZ to check comments. You know, just keep note of that. Do they communicate with the community? Check their medium, socials, Telegram, etc., Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, any socials that they have. You know, the continuation of the team section. Do they meet targets? Check target release dates versus actual, you know, comparing their kind of the roadmap or the targets they set up for them. You know, if they really do bring them out on schedule, if they're super delayed, or if they never come, you see that a lot uh, in this space. You know, roadmaps that never actually get fulfilled. So that's huge. Do they have a track record? If so, is it good? Is this their first project? Uh, do they even have a track record? You know, or is it really bad? Like, does it you know completely fail? Like Terra Luna, Draquan, just saying. Uh, do they have a history of delivering projects? Do they have the money to keep building? And then that's the team, which is obviously a huge pillar. And, you know, the next section is innovation. Is the team new or better than existing tech? Does the tech solve problems? An example is, you know, a layer two solving ETH scaling issues. If there is there a use case for the tech? Do the use cases have longevity? Use case now don't equal use cases in the future. So just keep in mind that is a very, very good point I want to highlight is, you know, if they have their use cases now, is that going to be enough to last in the future? You know, especially with crypto, everything changes, but crypto feels like everything changes 10 times quicker than normal. So whatever use cases are going now, just think are those use cases going to actually help out and still be valid in the future? Or if not, do they have plans to, you know, have use cases in the future? And then innovations, you know, again, continued. Do they have many competitors? Could dilute market, could dilute market share? You know, do they have an edge over competitors? Is market cap lower than competitors? If yes, there might be room for growth. So obviously looking to see, you know, in their own space, is our market cap one of the biggest, one of the smallest? Obviously you don't want to chase, if you're looking for major, major returns, if it fits all this other criteria, if they have the highest market cap, they might not have the most room for growth in their sector. Do they plan to improve, expand? Again, check their roadmap. And then that's their innovation. And look at the tokenomics. Are the tokens fully distributed? If not, what percentage of FDV is circulating? Higher is better. Our team wallets locked. Is liquidity liquidity locked for over two years? That's very good to know. And again, this whole thread, I thought, and I, I just want to elaborate again. This whole thread 
is genius, and I'm not trying to take credit by any means. Like I said, Lady of Crypto, very, very intelligent. You know, YouTube, Twitter, everything she says is great. I watch her videos too, and I learn quite a lot from her. So again, I will be linking all of her information below. But if we look again, tokenomics, is the token distribution good? Image below, have early investors got all unlocks? If no, what percentage have they got? If no, is the vesting good? You know, so again, look at those tokenomics we always kind of talk about is if, especially if you're looking at a token, look at those tokenomics. You can usually find them, uh, if it's not on their website somewhere, you should always be able to find them in the white paper. If not, that could be a red flag a little bit in my opinion, but otherwise reach out to the team more than likely. Uh, are the team wallets locked? Again, is liquidity locked for two years or over two years? Are there big holders with over 5% of supply? If so, who are they? Might be impossible to answer. That's a good point. If you can't answer, is them holding good or bad? Are there incentives for holding? Uh, like good APY, good yields? Are there big VCs involved? Who are the holders? Mostly VC holders, mostly community. Is it deflationary? Is there like a burning mechanism she means? Is a current market cap representative of the token's value? Have you added token unlock dates to your calendar? You can usually find unlock dates on the white paper website by asking on socials or apps like, you know, Daya or DowServe. I had a brand fart there. And again, is there a locking mechanism, lock staking? Are the tokenomics designed to reward users over time? So an example of GMX and GLP staking and how it benefits holders. If holders benefit, they continue to hold, which is a very good point. Uh, if there's a benefit for holding, obviously you're gonna hold, if not, uh, why would you hold? And if you see here, Lady of Crypto Social, you know, that's her, kind of the next topic she covers is her socials. Do they have a strong community? So again, check their Twitter, Facebook, Discord, uh, check Telegram, see if they have a good community or if it's like a ghost town as a lot of places are right now in crypto, it seems like. Is there a reason for the community to stick around like rewarding long-term holders? Do they have healthy market budget or marketing budget? Does the marketing appear ethical uh, do they have good reach and engagement if you found this thread useful click the quoted tweet below and give it a like and retweet uh, like in a retweet sorry at a brain fart which is exactly what I want to do here uh, because I found this thread beyond uh, useful in my opinion so uh, we are gonna like it retweet it it is super useful, and again, guys, that's Lady of Crypto's thread, so you can see all of her Twitter information, which, again, I will uh, link below, and if you see here, this is just her, Lady of Crypto 1. If you see her link tree, you can see all of her different information here, uh, but either way, guys, that was just, uh, I saw the thread on my Twitter feed, and I had to cover it, and just because it was one of the be better threads I've seen in a long time. In my opinion, it just shows, it goes over so much. Uh, again, some of this we talk about it on our on our channel, but uh, again, a lot of this I just thought was really, really smart. Especially if you're looking, again, for those high return gems for the next bull market. Especially right now during this bear market trend, which you should be using this time, in my opinion, to be looking for those next couple gems or projects that you want to invest and kind of dig your heels into right now is a perfect time to be doing that you know with the current market conditions but either way uh like i said i'll be linking all of lady Crypt lady of crypto's information and uh follow her you know that's what i would say follow her for information like that she releases stuff like that all the time so it's very useful i promise you will learn stuff from her and uh yeah, let me know in the comments below uh, what you guys thought of any of those topics. Uh, if there's any questions you had, uh, let me know in the comments below. If there's any advice or research that you do set separately when you look at projects, if there's anything else in that thread that you didn't quite understand, let me know. And if you guys can like the video, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. All right, see you guys.